Guys, in these next few videos, we're going to talk a couple of, on a couple of them. I'm not sure if it's going to be one, maybe two, three, or four. Uh, but in the next few videos, we're going to talk about living in the present moment. And very much coupled along with this is self-actualization. So you, you are li it's you, you are one, and you are living in your actual moment of time. And when this process of actually going to the real moment of time that you're in, what am I doing? I, what am I feeling? What is happening right now in the present moment? What is my body feeling? What is my mind thinking? Where am I at? How am I feeling? Comes it in the process of this, of you going through this, this process, you have self-actualization. So this is very much coupled together. So I'm not going to break away and separate the two. In, in the present moment comes self-actualization to who you are and, and uh, living a fulfilling life. What is living in the present moment? Well, first of all, let's look, with all the videos that I've constantly researched and all the stuff that I've kind of read, I come to the realization that there's so many things I just come narrowing down to it. You've probably heard all of this before and living in the present moment, just being aware of where you're at at the moment in time. I want to put a little spin on something that on this that may you may have not heard from other videos or maybe not other literature. So I want to share this with you and hopefully this strikes something new in you that you haven't heard before. So living in the present moment. So the moment is something we can think about because I want to share with you when I had my when I passed away and came to life, the moment of slipping in a uh, slipping into um, into my death um, was every single moment of time flickered before my eyes every moment of time everything from things I, I thought I forgot uh, things that I had memory lapse of a time that passed every moment from the beginning of my life to the end everything flickered within a matter of uh, within seconds Everything flashed my eyes, even things I was like, whoa, I remember that, like, you know, oh yeah, that happened, that's right, you know, and it was stuff that I would totally forgot, and it was almost after the fact that I came to self-actualization that I lived through those moments in time, and, it, and, and memory came back. It was almost like my memory came back strongly, uh, because I remember the flickering of moments of time. So, living in the present moment, is so important if you look at the the time of death now now not for you I'm not saying for you you haven't experienced death I hope you never do like I have but there are other stories of other people that have actually crossed over to the other side or the experience of actually transitioning over to the other side and coming back and I am one of those so when I share with you and being in the present moment you must be be creating a structured healthy happy or maybe um, um, a, a mo the moment of time that you have because and let me tell you not was it not just all beautiful moments every moment came back even the worst ones the bad ones and they all flickered through my mind and I got to share with you at least 50 50 I would say more than more than half of those moments of time were not happy and it came to and in that, in, in realizing that, that self-actualization for myself, I realized what, I was not living a fulfilling life that whole time because more moments of unhappiness were there or more moments of pain and suffering were there from childhood to um, mid-adulthood to adulthood and after my divorce. Now, that's something I share with you because I want you to realize that if and when that time comes for you and it will come and we have to come to, we have to come to self-actualization and realize that we are going to pass. And when that does happen, are you going to pass in peace? That will be the determining factor whether the life that you lived was fulfilling and meaningful and loving. Were you creating moments of time for you? that we're going to lead you to that to that time when you come to self actualization that I'm crossing over and I'm going now and I and and here I am and then you cross over to the other side and you look back at your life and you say wow and as all those moments flash, flash in your in your mind 
maybe that happens to you, maybe it doesn't. But once you're on the other side, as I was, and saying this will that'll be the determining factor whether you're going to heaven or not, whether you're going to be living in a in this uh, other dimension, wanting to go back to your life and fixing all of these things, and, and going back to these moments of time, and struggling with the fact that you may <clears throat> want to be coming back into the flesh, but you now are in the spirit world. This may something that you may not grasp and you may not fully understand, but please be have an open mind to someone that has actually crossed over to the other side. I'm not the only one. And there's other people that have talked about this. So creating moments in time and living in the present moment is going to be vital to what is going to happen with you when you cross over and you self-actualize self the end of your life. Now, again, we're, we're, it's an end of life, but it's not the end of who you are. You become, uh, you go into a different uh, realm, a different, um, uh, something different. And we can talk about that and go into that and religion and stuff like that, maybe on something else. Or if you want to comment down below, please do. I'd love to hear that. And just to close... In coming to self-actualization, your um, and we're going to talk more about um, practices and, and things like that on another video. But in coming to self-actualization, is when you come to terms. It's the part that hurts. It, it's the part that hurts because you have you have like um, you have to look at yourself in in the raw in the raw moment of like this is horrible. This is that happened, and I created this. I made this. And you have to come to the terms that everything is your responsibility and not in a pessimistic manner of the whole world has done, done me wrong because I'm a man and the whole world hates men. Although part of that is true, um, we do have a lot against men, but we have to really, really live in the present moment of what we can control and what we have control over and what we're responsible for. And first and foremost, we are responsible for our life. We are responsible for the actions that we create. And if the, all the weapons of the world are coming at us and lawyers and, and divorce and hate and crime and, and violence are coming at us, how as a warrior are you staying stoic and strong in the midst of battle? And it's then when you, when you, when you act out in those moments of time, when you when you, how you treat it, how you've overcome those moments of time, it, it's when you self-actualize actualize that I'm, I'm not being the best person I can be. I'm, I'm being the greatest person I can be, or I'm not being the best person I can be. And what can I do to change this? How, what can I do to live a fulfilling life? Well, I'm going to end you with this. Uh, I have my notes here. Self-actualization is the process of achieving one's full potential and living a fulfilling life. And according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, self-actualization is the highest level of human need. And it's achieved when all the other basics, uh, such as safety, belonging, are met. Again, um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is something we've learned in adolescent school. And um, probably something you should be reintroduced right now, especially if you're going through a difficult time and living through... Um, living through the, the pains of the past or worried and stressed of the future. Self-actualization comes in the process of living in that moment of time. And how are you creating these moments that are going to help you to live a fulfilling life when you self-actualize? Self I love you guys so very much. Thank you for uh, watching. Comment down below, please. I look forward to hearing, reading your comments and I'll respond to you guys soon. Again, live in the present moment and self-actualize the greatest of you. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.